Hello everyone, welcome to the second video on the series on mastering the cloud, mastering any cloud platform. In this video, my focus is emphasizing the importance of learning a scripted language. All these cloud service providers could be Azure, GCP, AWS, they have really nice UIs, UI portals, right? So when you get started as a beginner, you're using these portals to provision your resources. And what happens is that you keep using that until you transform from the beginner level to an intermediate level, you keep using that dashboard, same UI, right? There's a problem here. Let's say you want to create two virtual machines and those two virtual machines, they need to be talking to each other. You first go into one of these portals and you create the, the virtual network and that can take like five minutes or three minutes. And then you create the virtual machines manually. So to create a virtual machines, you have to do a lot of configurations. You have to fill out a lot of fields, right? The name of the virtual machine, the resource group, or the, the region, and the networking, subnets, and the disk configurations, licensing. There are a lot of things that you have to configure to create a virtual machine. So that can take like 10 to 20 minutes. Since there are two virtual machines, you have to do that again. So that can take probably around 20 to 30 minutes, right? And after configuring everything, you just see, okay, does it work? Maybe it doesn't work because you made a careless mistake along the way. And you don't feel like spending another 30 minutes to do the same thing because you basically spent 30 minutes doing a configuration and it doesn't work and you get frustrated and frustrations are the things that we need to avoid to master anything. So here what happens is that you stop learning about and that is the problem that a learning scripted language will address. So if you know a scripted language to do the same configuration that I told you, it'll only take around three lines. You create the virtual network and you create the first VM and you create the second VM, right? It's that simple. If it doesn't work, you can change the parameters and you can run it again. You don't have to spend like 20 minutes configuring it. And all the configurations that you do, you will be able to see on one screen, okay? These are the parameters in the virtual network. So these are the parameters in the virtual machine and like that, you can see all the configurations of your deployment. So it's going to be like a coding experiment where you change the parameters and you run it again, you change the parameters. If it doesn't work, you run it again until it works. And I'm a developer and probably you are as well. And I'm getting excited always, you know, when my code runs and that gives me a reward. That is what I want to highlight in this video, learning and scripting language, the importance of learning a scripting language to accelerate your learnings. And one more way that will accelerate your learnings is that, so when you're using a scripted language, you can try to build on top of it. Like for example, you learn today how to work with virtual machines. The next day, for example, you might want to learn, let's say about application gateway. So application gateway, it is a load balancer. To learn about a load balancer, you have to first create the virtual network, the VMs and the, the load balancer. So that can take like an hour to configure. But if you have this script that you created earlier, okay, to learn the virtual machines, you can just deploy, you can use that script and you can fork it, you can modify it to add the application gateway and you can build on top of it. And that will save you a lot of time. You can keep a repository of the, your learning scripts or you can write a blog. Someone else might also get benefited from it. So that's the thing, that's the idea that I wanted to share in this video, the importance of learning a scripting language when mastering cloud computing. I will see you in my next video.